Well, who didn't love dinosaurs when they were a kid? Turns out you don't have to be a paleontologist to keep that spark lit well into adulthood. In tonight's land of 10,000 stories, Boyd Hooper shows us what happens when prehistoric passion meets a love for art. The nondescript building in Egan will never be mistaken for a work of art, at least not on the outside. Yeah, dude, wait till the FedEx guy shows up when the new one comes in like, what is this place? This place is the answer to every STEM student who's ever asked an art major, what are you going to do with that? I love my job. Tim Quady is the Gustavus Adolphus art grad. Transverse Rex. Who's bridged the gap. That's a woolly man. To prehistoric science. This is an apatosaurus, I think 83 feet long. Tip of its mouth all the way to the end of the tail. Everything's on wheels. To walk into Tim's Blue Rhino studio is to discover the origins of the origins. This is a Quetzalcoatlus. Here, as Tim puts it, a dozen artists and $400 worth of Home Depot tools turn back the clock 100 million years. <gasps> wow. And why? Wonder, awe, terror. George Weiblin is science director <laughs> at the U of M's Bell Museum. Is he big or small? Which wanted more than woolly mammoth bones for its new building. Be scary. The bell wanted fur and fury. It's huge. And questions. Were these things really here? What was it like? Were they that big? So the bell rang. Blue Rhino. Uh, this one's in Kuwait. A lot of museums do. Uh, Missouri. The ancient Ozarks Natural History Museum. That's Quetzalcoatlus. Chicago's Field Museum. A uh, Gastornis. And with this pending departure, Yale University. It's always sad when things go. But they'll make more. One inch to the foot. From clay model to this. Everything here will be exactly what's there. To a shipping container straight out of the Mesozoic era. Not bad for an artist whose company's first paying project was a five foot lighthouse. It's for a bar at the airport. <laughs> Followed by more bill paying work at MSP, the Mall of America, and the Minnesota Zoo. You know, mini golf courses? Sure, why not? Till Tim found his niche. I just think it's fun to grow up to be the person you always hoped you could be. An artist employing other artists. My background is in fine arts. Like Mark Healy. Sculpture. Literally laying the ground from which will spring diorama murals being digitally painted by artist Maddie Dahl and Beth Seiken. This is a mural that goes behind the two saber-tooth cats and the running short face bear, but that's what the model is. Artists lending their old college STEM friends a hand. Typically, the, the scientists who know the most about something aren't going to be the artistic people who can show it to you. Our job is to talk to the experts and get what's in their head out so everyone can see it. Artists like Kevin Bowden. It's a Triceratops puzzle. Jigsawing together a blanket of epoxy dinosaur skin. I feel pretty lucky, you know? I feel like I'm, I'm exactly the person I wanted to be when I was six. <laughs> Artists giving life to science. I want to do s stuff that matters. Is he real? Yeah. You think? <laughs> when we're done doing what we do. What do you think these are? And the visitors start coming in. Tusks? Husks. Our work matters. It makes a difference. Look at their feet. Boyd Hooper, Carol Evan News. He's used nail clippers. <laughs> St. Paul. Absolutely fabulous. Tim Quady started Blue Rhino Studio in a garage. This year, Tim's company will mark its 25th anniversary. That's Fantastic. amazing. Fantastic. What a unique job, too. Oh, I mean, not boring. Yeah. No. What are you going to do today? Oh, just build a woolly mammoth. Put a, put a dinosaur together. Well, it's no so problem. real that people are like, is that real? Is that real? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, when just, I saw I, that at the Bell Museum, I mean, obviously, but I'm like, it looks it's so remarkable. Real. Just, you have to go see it. It's upstairs at the Bell Museum. Can't imagine the patience and the time yes. that it takes to do all that. That's just remarkable. Love that story. Yes. Absolutely. Okay.